All right, y'all. So I want to start being able to utilize this one-ton OBS Ford to um, start pulling things. You know, pulling the trailer, pulling equipment. Um, and the problem I was having is the brake controller in it. I couldn't get it to work. I haven't been able to get it to work since I bought it. Um, this is an older, I don't know how you pronounce it, Takancha Voyager XP. Um, from what I can gather, it's it's a pretty old unit. Uh, looks like it actually says 04 of 98, possibly. So this thing is 21 years old. It's not much, uh, not much newer than the truck is. <clears throat> um, it appears to be wired correctly from what I've traced and um, you know when you hook a trailer up the light does turn on so I know it's got a connection there um, so I don't know I'm thinking it must have been the controller so I did a little bit of research and um, you know, I went ahead and got another Takancha but I got the P3 which from everything I've read is you know one of the best on the market so um, I picked this up on Amazon and I, I opened it up earlier and looked at it it's four wire same color wires and everything that was on this one so you know you have your black your red your blue and your white just like this one was so I'm thinking that you know I cut these off here I can just splice right into that and hook it up and go to town so um, let's see how that works out but you know my my 05 my 60 it came from the factory with a brake controller you know built into the dash and and that's nice it it works great you know I don't know what kind of systems those are on there um, if they work in the same concept as as these things do um, but I figured that you know buying a good one was going to get me as close as I could get to that and that's what I want so um, let's get at it Whoever installed this before didn't color coordinate wires to where they ran them to. I'm going to do these one at a time. So the first one here is going to be the red one. Which... Yes. That is the brake light. So typically I like to solder these and shrink sleeve them. Unfortunately, I just can't for the life of me to remember to pick up another uh, roll of solder and some shrink sleeve assortments. Um, so hopefully here directly I'll remember to do that. Um, most likely this cab will be coming off this truck so I'll redo all this the right way with the right wire. We got the red. This is incredibly uncomfortable. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut that down. Oh. That's much better. So let's go with the white, which goes to blue.
Yeah, so typically, like I said, what you'd want to do here is just solder these together. You know, put your piece of shrink sleeve over it, solder them together, and then shrink it. And you should never have a problem with it after that. Doing it this way, it's hit or miss. You might, you might have to redo it. After some time. taken care of. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a layer of tape around those just for safe measure. See, now that's, that's a prime example of a problem you run into with these things. See what happened there? Wasn't, uh, wasn't crimped down all the way.
all right so I wanted to get it over as far as I could here but you know if it's tight up against the dash there's gonna be a bit of an angle on it and it doesn't um, it suggests for you not to do that so I'm actually gonna shim this a little bit with a couple of washers between the dash and the bracket and it looks like that's gonna uh, maybe just one Sound like monster trucks, buddy. No, I like cars. Yeah. They're different cars. Different cars? Yeah. Them house. Them have the camp people in them.
Okay, we do a hole in the back of there. before we gotta go. hole in there. Just drill two holes and use the file. Made a nice oval hole that that connector can fit right through.
up front too, huh? There's no banks. Bigger big one? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one away and that one. No, I'm gonna keep this one forever. Maybe in the summer. Yeah, I'm gonna get some fuel real quick, okay? I'll be right in out. In the semi. Right out here. In the semi. In the semi? Yeah, that's what I need.
pump for a little bit. Can I just talk a little bit? Talk? Yeah, absolutely. What do you want to talk about? Tell me a story. I can't. Huh? I can't. You can't tell me a story? No. Tell me a story. Tell me a story. Why not? <laughs> no. See? Wave at it. Oh, it froze up. What did you do? There it goes. See? Wave at it. <laughs> Alright, tell everybody a story. story.
store? Don't pull on anything. What this, is that? this isn't the time to do that kind of stuff. What is this? Uh, that's to open this little window. But it doesn't work, so don't break it. This little one? How to open it? It's too hard. It's too hard. It's mm, too hard. I told you to stop messing with it. Opens the door. I know. No. What is that button? That turns the alarm on in my truck. Then what's this? That's a limit. Then what's this? What's this? What's that? Oh, that's a case for that. Um. Nothing was there. What's for that? What's, what's this for? It's the manual for the for that. What is that? What is this? What is, what is all of that stuff for? Right that there? controls the dump. What's that? What's that? What's that right there? Daddy, what's that? This? Like this? That? This yeah. is a gear shift. What's that? Then what's this for? What's this? What's this for? Daddy. 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 What's this for? Daddy. What? what? What's this for? It's just a handle to pull the door shut. And opened, and opened, and opened, and opened, let's see. Okay. What's this? It's a glove box. Ow. Keep stuff in there. Ow. That keeps stuff in there. 